emergency case. Life hovers in the balance. An immediate operation is necessary. How many know the heart-gripping tension of such critical moments? A member of the family at the crossroads, or even a friend of the family, an old and trusted friend. Certainly a real friend rates the most expert care at a time like this. Yes, even if he's a dog. What happened to me? It's all right, pal, you're in good hands. This hospital run by Dr. M.F. Lee on Long Island, although a dog hospital, is just like a regular hospital for humans, even to x-ray work for checking on broken bones. Easy now, old girl, it won't hurt a bit, and we'll soon know whether it's broken or not. What with dog hospitals, dog beauty parlors, special dog foods and kennels by the thousands, it seems that the country has gone to the dogs. But why not? Dogs are mankind's oldest and truest companion. Anyone who doesn't love dogs, well, I'm sorry for him. Feeling better, Sandy? Yes, a dog deserves the best care in the world when he needs it. The doc says, take it easy there, young fellow. You might break a stitch. At America's largest dog show, the Morris and Essex exhibition, an outdoor show held every year in New Jersey, 50,000 people flocked to see the swanky four-footed kings and queens. Dogs valued from several hundred to many thousand dollars apiece. There are more than 125,000 show dogs alone in the country, not to mention the hunting dogs, farm dogs, watch dogs, and just plain dogs. 16 millions of them. And there are more than 200 definite breeds of dogs throughout the world, although only about half that number are recognized for dog show purposes in America. As to the number of mixed breeds, your guess is as good as mine. Many breeds today are the result of crossbreeding in the last few hundred years, but some go back to antiquity. The Russian wolfhound, for instance, is practically the same as the ancient long-haired greyhounds of Arabia and Persia. Dogs are supposed to have sprung from a cross between wolves and jackals. But this little chihuahua certainly has come a long way. It's a dog, all right, big boy, and very much alive. Sure, and it's the likes of him with his fancy whiskers and his proud airs that's sending the ladies rushing to the beauty parlors. Yes, the dog business is a big business, one of the country's largest. Half a billion a year for dog food alone. But they earn every cent of it as guardians and as faithful companions. Isn't that right, old fella? Thank you.